Hey guys, Peters. In this video, we're going to talk about how to recover from mold exposure. What can you do after you've been exposed to toxic mold, to black mold, or when you're dealing with mold sensitivity in general? What can you do hands on advice to better your situation? Now, this video is for you if you've watched part one of the mold series where I share with you what does mold actually do in your body. This is important to understand because there's a lot of confusion and people go crazy over the mold. They look, mold, look search for mold everywhere and we're just going to get more mentally sick by, be, by being told these misinformation. So make sure you check out number one, the part one of this video series where I share with you also why do you react sensitive to mold and other people, maybe your family members, your colleagues who are exposed to the same mold are not reacting at all. So it's important to understand first and then we're going to jump over to this video where uh, this is for you if you've watched that video already or now you're ready to deal with the mold to learn about what you can do step by step to better your situation, to better your symptoms and what's really important to focus on first. All right, so let's do this. Now, in, in general, your immune system is constantly picking up mold spores. This is important to know that if you're exposed to mold, you live somewhere with mold, even if the other person doesn't have symptoms, their immune system does the same thing. Those mold spores are being picked up by the immune system and that takes effort for everybody. It takes effort. Mold, um, especially you know, in buildings and things like that, and the mold that we're dealing with right now, that is always an effort for the immune system. It's never, you know, like, oh, it's just bathing in mold, it's just good for me. No. I understand, like, this is what I shared in the first video as well, um, that mold is a trigger. It's not, it's not the culprit for your neurological symptoms. For example, dizziness and tingling and headaches and low energy and numbness and pain and all of that. That's a viral issue or a, bacteria, a viral issue mainly and can also be a bacteria issue from pathogenic bacteria like uh, resistant strains of streptococcus and often in combination with toxic heavy metals like mercury, um, cadmium, aluminum, sometimes even copper. It's impossible to completely isolate yourself from mold. It's just not possible, especially not in our world today. Try not to go crazy. Try not to go crazy over that. I know that's easier said than done, especially if you're dealing with symptoms, if you're suffering a lot, but understand that mold is a trigger. It's not about, yes, removing yourself from mold exposure, especially if it's, we're not talking about food mold. We're not talking about, you know, like the mold on, on a pineapple, on an apple in, a, in the fridge, or on lettuce leaves, or even the mold in the rainforest. We're gonna talk about this super mold that also medical medium especially points out, Anthony William, um, that he says that we basically created super molds just like we created super pathogens and super bacteria like resistant strains of streptococcus with the fungicides that we spray on everything day and night and it is in everything furniture on the clothing because if not everything would get moldy and also that those super molds they are thriving on fluorescent light they're thriving on radiation this is a different type of mold than what you find in the fridge just just to, to not put them together oh i have so much mold in the fridge i need to get rid of that if it's on food it's not the same especially if it's plant-based food and remember that your immune system has your back it has our back it always does does its best to support us now i want to take a look with you because this is what this video really is about what you can do to support the immune system to get stronger to fight against the underlying conditions which is not the mold the underlying conditions virus bacteria toxic heavy metals this is what causes all these symptoms and they were just aggravated by the mold because the mold the mold basically keeps the immune system busy incorporate more antivirals and antibacterials into our life and just a shout out here to anthony william um, and medical medium who's the same person about his information if you want to check out more i link um, a book down below that i love that's one of his new books um, cleanse to heal is the word is the name and you can also get a free audio version from it uh, if you're not yet an audible member and i link click uh, da -da -da -da, i talked too much today i link the the links down below in the in the description okay let's get started with food Food, 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 food. I demonstrated some food over here. This is not by accident. I actually wanted to do a pineapple dance at some point, but yeah, let me know if you want to see the pineapple dance. Okay, so food. Food can be two things. It's really, it's really that simple. 
either the food that you're eating feeds pathogens, it feeds viruses, feeds bacteria, makes your immune system weaker, or it does the opposite. It strengthens the immune system and it kills bacteria and viruses and other and uh, brings out toxic heavy metals and mold spores from your system. So guess what we're going to focus on? This one. We want to eat more of this and none of this. It's as easy as that. This, what you want to avoid, of obviously, is alcohol. Weak, weakens the immune system, the neurotoxin as well. And you want to focus on not eating any of the five trigger foods that I've mentioned in every video, almost. And I'm also going to link them down below if you want to learn more about that. Those tri trigger, five trigger foods are all dairy products. Everything, even yogurt, eggs, gluten, corn, and soy. All of those, in any shape or form, organic or not, it doesn't matter. It feeds pathogens, unfortunately. And learn more about that, click the, click the, the um, related videos down below. What you also want to focus on is strengthening your immune system with a few supplements, which really are essential, essential, essential if you're dealing with mold spores. And I gathered them here for you. So nothing new, the best, absolute super super bug killer no virus no bacteria no mold spores likes liquid zinc sulfate it needs to be liquid it needs to be zinc sulfate and best is this one um, i've been i've been experimenting with this one for a long time i take it myself and it only has pure water as another ingredient it's highly bioavailable really strong concentrated one this is going to be a lifesaver second b12 for your nervous system strengthens your nervous system is immensely important if you eat all those healing foods to assimilate them so the body can actually use those trace minerals that you get from lettuce for example which we're going to come to in just a few minutes um, to actually assimilate them which help to fortify your nervous system and fortify um, your immune system so you have a better chance to kill those mold spores and last but not least immune system power looking really ugly this is it vitamin c this is vitamin C from Azorora cherries. Just like about half, like a quarter of a teaspoon is 500 times the amount of recommended vitamin C. So this goes a long way. Um, by the way, guys, if you feel like, oh my God, where should I write this down? Everything. I actually created a mold checklist for you that you can download on my website. I put the link down below, probably something like Peggy Schirmer dot com slash mold and then you can download that sheet and everything that I'm sharing with you right now will be on there will be all the links background information and more so you can just go through that if you want to get that you can just go to my website it's for free and I send it over to your email box inbox email box inbox okay so we don't want to drink alcohol avoid the five figure five trigger foods get zinc b12 and vitamin c and you also want to avoid these things like the, the vegan stuff you know like the vegan thingy like nutritional yeast i did a video about nutritional yeast it was very controversial people were like attacking me and i was like oh my god do i need to turn the comments off um just because we're so attached it tastes good but it's not good for your nervous system it's inflammatory it's basically um, basically feeding mold spores as well. It makes it really hard for you to recover, get off these, these, uh, this nutritional yeast. Just don't, don't eat something else. So food wise, what you can eat. So we had these two, we're talking about what not to eat, what to eat apart from the supplements, eat as raw and as juicy as possible, because that will help your body. The more nutrients the body has, the better it can protect itself from any invader. May it be a virus, may it be a mold spore, or a fungicide or candida or streptococcus or whatever it is. So the better the raw and the more juicy and organic, the better. Especially vitamin C, anything that contains a lot of vitamin C and antioxidants is amazing. Leafy greens, guys, leafy greens, leafy greens for the trace minerals. Trace minerals are, is super important for your nervous system. And this is why B12 is essential as well, because it helps to assimilate those trace minerals that you get from the salad herbs any types of herbs the more the organic the best and the more wild is good as well so get those leafy greens in celery juice second one medical medium is a big big one who brought this into my life and hopefully into your life as well um celery juice with these sodium cluster salts which literally kill blood blood spores <laughs> mold spores in your bloodstream when they have contact with celery juice also in your intestines dead dead this is the best herbal medicine and I have a lot of videos about this where I explain it if you've got any detox reactions how much how to take it don't mix it with apples just 
on an empty stomach, as Anthony William describes, an empty stomach, 16 to 32 ounces in the morning of plain celery juice. Doesn't taste good, is the best remedy you can ever get. Second, uh, third or fourth on this list, berries, any types of berries. Also, if you have, if you are thinking you might have toxic heavy metals in your body, which we all have, but some have more, I know I have a lot, then also bringing in the heavy metal detox smoothie with wild blueberries, with dolls, with uh, what's in there, kelp, and I have a video on that one as well, which I link down below if you want to check that out. And it has a lot of berries as well. And then fruits, 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 um, pears, apples, <sighs> oranges, they all contain antivirals, they all are rich in vitamin C, rich in enzymes, which help to support your immune system and kill those viruses and bacteria in your body and give you all the glucose that you need for your nervous system to function well. So you get less headaches, hopefully, and less anxiety and whatever other neurological symptoms you have. Okay, before we end this, got uh, a few more things. Spirulina, get, get it in my fridge. I want to show you. It's Here's my fridge. Da -da. It's in one of those bags. I'm traveling at the moment, so you can... So uh, it's all in plastic bags, unfortunately. Spirulina, spirulina. This blue-green algae here, one of my best friends, is... That's, that's, that's the one that gets the microtoxins out of the body. It binds to them on the bloodstream, just like with the toxic heavy metals. I talked about that in the other um, video about spirulina. And it's super gentle. Most people do not have any issues with spirulina, even if you have a lot of underlying health conditions and sensitivity. Spirulina is a superfood. Talk about more about that in the spirulina video. Okay, two more herbs. Are you ready? Remember, I've got this checklist. If that feels too much, just download the checklist and then you can go through it one by one, especially if you're kind of already tired and can't concentrate and things like that. I so relate to this. I had this myself for over 15 years, struggling with neurological symptoms. So don't worry. You can always pause and get the list. So last, almost last, the two to uh, herbs that I can recommend. This is also for medical medium information. For neurological symptoms, you want to get lemon balm, lemon balm tea, lemon balm tincture, any of those. Strengthens the immune system and strengthens your nervous system as well. And then medical medium is a big fan. I personally haven't experienced in a lot with this yet. Uh, so I need to have more, more clients um, to test this out with. It's cat's claw. Cat's claw is also an herb and that's very strengthening. It's very strengthening, it's antiviral, antibacterial and antifungal. And you can also get that in a tincture form, which I have on the, on the checklist as well and also in the shop. Make sure it's alcohol free, no citric acid, which basically hinder absorption and don't really make it a good um, product, but actually work against you and maybe even burn your liver. So lemon balm <clears throat> and cat's claw. Okay, so make sure if you want to learn more about this and you want to get all the links and all the recommendations, also some background information, also putting the Medical Medium podcast on the list, um, get the mold check sheet uh, and get that down there in the description. Hope that it was helpful and let me know, let me know what you think in the uh, comments below. So get your mold check sheet right now.